Let's make a distinction between accepting and saving. Um, it's a pretty big one because if you are a beginner and you don't understand the difference, then <clears throat> your work is kind of going to get thrown out the window and you're going to wonder why. So we opened up the image and it looks like this and we're making changes. We're going to get rid of those morphs and we're going to add a class and then we're going to accept it because that's what you do when you make a class. You say, you know, I want you to uh, add this to the system. So object, my class, new objects, and add a method, just first method, and we'll put in a comment. So here's the important part. Uh, you can't see it there, but you accept it. And you think, wow, I've saved my work. That's great. Now let's quit the uh, image without saving and see how much work we've actually saved. Quit. No, let's not save our changes. And you've saved precisely nothing. So accepting is sort of one level of saving. So let's do that again. We'll get rid of these morphs. We'll make ourselves a new class. So quickly we remake that class and we accept it. Except this time we tell the image to save. So when we quit without saving this time, it doesn't matter because we've already saved our work. And the real value of this, the point I'm getting to, is that if you start in on something and you don't like how it's going, just quit your image without saving and it will revert back to where you started. This is a trick I use all the time and it may be a beginner's trick, but it's great. You just quit without saving and you're back to where you started.